Marijuana, motherfucker. What it do, be my cannabis friends? It is your boy Spencer here, back with another rather informational cannabis video. We've been really hitting the books this week, and I'm proud of y'all. You're hanging in there, man. How's it been? Your first week at cannabis college. Next week, of course, we're gonna take a little break from the learning, and we're gonna get back to getting blasted as hell on cameras. Starting right out with Gage and I taking on some 2,000 milligram gummies. You don't wanna miss out. If you're watching this video and you don't normally watch this channel, I'd highly recommend subscribing and turning on notifications, especially since you're a cannabis friend, man. You're part of the cannabis community and these videos are 100,000% geared towards you. Let's get right into how to get your medical marijuana patient card. There's gonna be a little bit of a walkthrough on the screen to help you visualize it while I'm talking about it. First, number one thing you need to do is get your recommendation letter, man. Now you can do this online, but I have heard that you can save a lot of money uh, going into person, into a clinic, or to a dispensary itself if they're doing a patient drive that day. If you wanna go that route, you still have to follow the steps later in this video though. But yes, you can save quite a bit uh, going in person uh, to a patient drive. I know we have those at dispensaries a lot in Oklahoma. Just check up on your local dispensary's Instagram page for that information. But to go the truly easiest route, we're gonna be going to NugMD. I would just Google NugMD and then uh, go to one that's just like NugMD.com or something similar and your screen should look like this. Get your card for $39. But as we look further into that claim, it's for California. What we're gonna have to do, or anyone that does not live in California is gonna have to do, scroll down just a tiny bit and they've got a little list of some states. And they've even got an other option that will let you put in your info and add to the database, you know, add your state to NugMD, or at least catalyze that process. Now that you've selected your state, we selected Oklahoma because in this video, we're just specifically looking at Oklahoma. I would like to know that there are quite a bit of other websites that you can use, uh, perhaps for your specific state to get your recommendation letter. But I used NugMD when I got mine and it was a really smooth process but I assume the setup is very similar on other websites. So you've clicked on your state, it's updated the page, you know, now it says get your Oklahoma medical marijuana card. Now you can click that green button, get your card. It's gonna take you to a page where you're gonna have to sign up, you know, do that stuff, use your email, whatever. You're gonna click sign up and you're gonna be signed up, you know, agree to the terms and all that things. It's gonna take you to a secondary place to confirm your state choice. It gives you kind of like a map. So if you don't know the name of your state, maybe you can just go off the shape. So this one though actually puts the prices up whenever you go over the state. So that's pretty cool. Again, we're going with Oklahoma. You're gonna enter some more info. They're gonna get to know you a little deeper, you know, get your address, all that good stuff. And then you're gonna fill out your medical history after that, you know, pretty much giving the reason, you know, why you feel uh, you need your medical marijuana patient card. They've got a long list to choose from, or you can enter uh, another reason. Uh, they have a text box that you can fill out. And then you're gonna upload, of course, your state ID. Just more information, blah, blah, blah. You know, all the formality shit. Obviously, this is a whole ass government thing you're filling out, so it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna need all of this information. I stopped my screen recording here because I don't really wanna go further and set up a whole ass appointment and have this other account now that has, you know, all my information. But eventually though, it gets you to this like Zoom type setup screen where you wait just a little bit and a doctor comes through and you do a video call, a short little video call. It's not very long. Obviously this is the doctor referral letter. This is who it's gonna come from. So they're gonna ask you some questions about, you know, if you're experiencing, you know, symptoms that commonly can be you know, taken care of by cannabis and, you know, really just getting to know you and why, you know, you're wanting to get your medical marijuana card. And they might ask if you've experimented with some before to see if it helps. And, you know, it's totally cool to say, yeah, you know, and then not very long at all after your video call, you will get your letter of approval in your email, along with really nice instructions on the next step you're supposed to take. Uh, you can either listen to me or you can listen to the email they give you, but I mean, you're already here, so why not? Now we're gonna be dealing with a really great entity called the OMMA, the Oklahoma Medical Marijuana Association. We're going to their website, man, and make sure it's a .gov. It should be like oklahomastate.gov slash 
uh, OMMA. I looked up OMMA earlier on the computer and there were a bunch of people that looked like they were trying to be them. Trying to get you to just click and, you know, get your info or something weird, you know? Get signed up on the OMMA website, you know, get your account, get all your personal information, you know, probably a lot of the same information you entered in NugMD going into there. You know, obviously making sure it's the same person. Get all your new patient information filled out and then you attach that letter of approval onto all that information and you submit it along with a fee of $104 and like 90 something cents because uh, they have a little like four, per four point something percent fee for a credit card and who's ever gonna send in cash for that, I don't know. But once you pay that $104 and 90 something cents and then that's the last payment, you know, along with that first one of like $99. And finally, two weeks later, you should see your medical marijuana patient card in the mail. And you can take that right at that moment to a licensed medical marijuana dispensary and purchase some medical cannabis. If you have any questions at all, please leave them down below. Even if it's not about this video, I answer that shit, man. If this video helped you out, leave a like, please, so we can bring this video, you know, help the YouTube algorithm, bring it on its way all the way to other cannabis friends, other members of the cannabis community. I truly hope you all stay token up consuming the most fire, super ultra, mega fire, gas, yes, gas, gas, cannabis products during responsible times of the day, of course. With that said, my name is Spencer. I will catch you all in the next one. And as always, have a great fucking day.